Hello guys, uh, in this video we will see how to construct a involute for an equilateral triangle. First let us see the question. So draw the involute of an equilateral triangle of side 30 mm and mark a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance 100 mm from the, you take it as center of the triangle. So now open the software. So first step is to set the units. Set the units at millimeters already in millimeter. Next, set the limits. Let me guess limits as 0, 0. So I'm going to set a 3 size 420, 297 space. Then once you set the limits, uh, give zoom command zoom and all. So now we'll start uh, making the involute for a equilateral triangle. So now they are asked to, first we'll try and start with a triangle. Okay, type polygon. So it is asking number of sides. For triangle there are three sides. Press space. So it is asking to, uh, we will uh, we will draw this triangle using the edge method. Okay, there are two methods. Either you can uh, uh, form it by a inscribed or circumscribed circle method or edge method. So I am going to use the edge method. Incoming call. So now it is asking to uh, spe specify the first end point of the edge. So I am going to specify somewhere here. And then in the same horizontal direction. So press F8 to get it straight. And it is asking the second point, so I am going to specify 30 mm. Okay. Now I got the triangle. So now the length of each side is 30 mm. So we will measure and we will ensure that it is 30. Yeah, it is 30 mm. So once you got the triangle, next what you have to do, we have to extend the each side uh, like each side for an infinity distance. Okay. So first before extension of each side, what we will do, we will name the each corner text, specify somewhere here, click somewhere and then specify height as 2.5 and then angle of rotation 0. Now the cursor is blinking. Now you give A, again you type, click outside B, again you click outside and give C. Okay. Again you click outside and press escape. Once you got all the required letters, click on it and then move to the required edge. While moving, switch off the F8, ortho mode, then okay. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to extend the each side, okay. For that, you use a command called ray, R A Y ray. So we have to start from the base. Okay. So this is the base. A B. Click A B. We'll get a line. Next. Next, you have to again you type ray or press space to get the previous command. Now select C and E. Next, select B and then C. Process. So once you got the, uh, once you extended the each side, the next step is we have to make a circle between the each section. Okay. So again, go to circle. So take A as center and A B as radius. You mark a circle up to B, and then again go to the trim option. Press space. Don't select anything again. Simply press space and then delete the unwanted portions. Okay. Now again, circle. Now this time C is going to be your center. Radius is two times the side of the uh, equilateral triangle. That means uh, 60 mm. Now it is asking to specify the radius. You just specify 60 mm. Next again trim command. So delete the unwanted portions. Again press escape and now again circle. This time 
B is going to be your center and this radius is 3 times that of the sides of the triangle. Okay, that means uh, 30 plus 30 plus 30 is 90. I think uh, it is not intersecting in this line, so again I will draw it. There is a problem. So again, circle. Select BS center. And then give 90. Actually, it will uh, intersect with this point, but it is not intersecting here. So, we will delete this one and we will go back, correct this and come back. Again, circle. We have drawn axis line here. Circle. Click this one. And then give the radius as 60 mm. Trim command, double space, then you delete the unwanted portions. Now again circle. Now take B as the center and uh, radius should be 90 mm. Yeah, now it is coming correctly. Okay. While selecting the center, make ensure that you are selecting the correct uh, corner of the triangle or not. this one and this. so now we got the uh, involute for a equilateral triangle now we will delete these lines also we don't want this excess lines so now we got the involute so i'm going to name each section so control c control v i'm going to put here i'm going to change it as uh, p1 Again, uh, control V here, I am going to put it as P2 and again here this corner I am going to put it as P3. So now we got the we got the involute. Now the question is not over, we'll go to the question. Uh, they have said mark a tangent or normal to the curve at a distance of 100 mm from the center of the triangle so what we are going to do uh, put a circle tap a circle and yeah select the center and then give radius as 100 mm okay so see the circle is intersecting the involute curve at this point okay so at this point we have to we have to put a normal at the tangent. So first we will put a point at this intersection. So go type PO and specify a point here. So we got a point but it is not visible. We have to change the point style. So change the point style from dot to X or else like this symbol. And then I'll uh, selecting you set, uh, you set size in absolute units then so that your uh, point size won't change when you zoom in or zoom out okay if you give it in absolute scales okay so now i got the point here now i don't need this circle so i'm going to delete it now to draw the tangent what you have to do you have to connect this point to the center of this section that means p2 and p3 uh, for the section that is between p2 and p3 b is the center so we have to connect this point to the b so again, I'm going to line, select this point and then join P. So this is going to be your, this line is going to be your normal. So we have to extend it on the other side. For that, I'm going to use rotate command RO, select this object and press space. And it's asking the base point, select this one and click copy and give 180 degree. So I got the line on the other side. Similarly, this is my normal. To draw a tangent, we have to draw a line perpendicular to this normal. So I'm going to rotate this line on both sides. Okay, select this line. 
and type RO. It is asking base point, select this point, copy and give 90 deal. So you got the a line on the left side of you got a line on the left side. So we have to extend this line on the other side. Again, you type line, press space. So you're not line. Okay. Rotate RO, press space, select this object, press space, select the base point, and then copy. And you have to rotate 180 degree. Okay. Then I'm going to give a name. So select this one. Control C, Control B. This one. Double click this one. So I'm going to give it as N. This I'm going to give it name as T dash. Double click. T dash, click outside, press escape and then control B. Uh, I'm going to name it as T. T, T dash is going to be my tangent. BN is the normal. Okay. So once you got the curve, so we will, we have to differentiate the curve tangent and normal apart from the construction lines. So these are the construction lines, right? So what you do, you increase the uh, line weight as well as the change the color of the line. Okay. So I'm going to select this sections. Totally have three sections. So go to here by layer and here you can change the thickness. So I'm going to give it as 0.35 and also I'm going to change the color to red. But the line size, uh, line thickness is not increased. It is increased but it is not visible to make it visible you switch on this one so this is line weight if you can't find this uh, icon here we have to go here customization and we have to select this line weight and you have to come back here to get the icon okay so now you can see the line thickness is increased so if you want to increase further you can increase select I'm going to give some point uh, five. So now similarly, I'm going to change the thickness of tangent as well as the normal. Now I'm going to change the color. Put green. This I'm going to put L. So this is the solution, okay? Thanks guys.